believe it. Allison would not abandon her baby. There must be a reasonable explanation. Here's your reasonable explanation. I'm going away. Please take care of Emily. At least she left a note. <laughs> I'm sure it's not the way it looks. You don't know Allison. But we do. Remember when she and David ducked out of the class picnic? Lots of kids left that picnic. For three days? <laughs> She could be halfway to California by now. Life's a bummer. You go to sleep, you got a mother. You wake up and you're on your own. <laughs> I tried to reach Allison's husband. No answer. He's away for the weekend hang gliding. Oh, well, I couldn't get through to Allison's parents either. Uh, they're away snorkeling. Just your typical all-American family. <laughs> Mrs. Garrett, what are we gonna do? Well, what we need now is some sober, rational thinking. And I... Uh, Oh, we'll be sober and rational tomorrow. Tonight, tonight we have a very special guest. Yes, yes. Oh, Mrs. Garrett, that means you'll have to miss the movie. That's all right, I'll find someone else to take me. And after I finish studying, I'll come back and play with Emily. Mm -hmm. Well, we better get ready, Joe. We're running way behind schedule. Come, come on, on. find you a ride. Yoo-hoo! Just a second. <laughs> uh, what exactly were you girls planning to do about the baby? Do? I said I'd play with her when I finished studying. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, as long as she's in our house, she's our responsibility. All of us. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Garrett, I don't have any experience with babies. Even my Tiny Tears dolls were diapered by someone else. <laughs> yeah, I was really looking forward to tonight. <laughs> well, maybe it'll be fun. Yeah, after all, how much trouble can one little baby be? <laughs> and so... Prince Charles, the dashing heir to the English throne, left his lovely but average bride to marry Princess Blair. <laughs> and they lived happily ever after. <laughs> Everyone's a critic. <laughs> Why don't we play some of my records? Forget it, Tootie. There are some problems even Michael Jackson can't fix. <laughs> There's a record that makes sounds a baby hears when it's in its mother's womb. What? It sounds like waves rolling against the shore. It relaxes them. Whoosh! <laughs> great, great! Now the baby's crying and seasick. Well, maybe it's her diaper. That can't be. Mrs. Garrett just changed it an hour ago. Blair, in baby land, an hour is a long time. <laughs> Algebra test if I'm playing nanny all night. Did you check it to make sure it's the right temperature? Trust me, it's fine. No! You have to test it on your wrist or you might burn little Emily's tongue. <laughs> so how is it? <laughs> Would you go heat up another bottle? And please clean up that mess. <laughs> Natalie, go fix another bottle. Natalie, go clean up that mess. <laughs> you know, you people are taking advantage of my maternal instincts. <laughs> well, what's the verdict on a diaper? Guilty as charged. <laughs> Great! Now what are we gonna do? Change her. How are you gonna do that? I'll just have to wing it. As soon as I can find something to use for a diaper. Forget it, Paul. <laughs> well, I'll find something. Why isn't Mrs. Garrett here when we need her? Because she's out buying diapers. You ruined the last two that Allison left. I thought they had to be sterilized. <laughs> Blair, you don't 